Rust on plants is amongst the most common fungal diseases of garden plants. What is rust fungus? Rust fungus is a group of fungal diseases that affect the top part of a plant. The leaves are the ones that are commonly affected, but rust can also be found on stems, flowers, and fruits. In extreme cases, these infections can even kill plants. Treatment must be started as early as it's cited. What causes rust spots on leaves? Rust spot is a disease caused by a fungal parasite that spreads through the host plant destroying its cells. This fungal parasite thrives in hot and humid weather and can be tough to eliminate. The fungi move from one host to the other to complete their life cycles. However, some rust fungi can complete their entire life cycle on a single host. Symptoms of plant rust. The appearance of pale leaf spots eventually turn into spore-producing structures called pustules. The pustules normally appear on the lower leaf surface, producing massive numbers of microscopic spores. These pustules can be yellow, orange, black, brown, or white. Some have a rusty brown color, giving the rust fungal disease its common name brown patches. In some cases, you will notice dozens of pustules on each leaf. Severely affected leaves could turn yellow and die prematurely. Rust Fungus Treatment Eliminate all the infected plants. If you notice any rust-infected leaf, stem, or plant, get rid of it immediately. Pull it out and discard it in the trash, do not compost any infected plant parts. The fungus spores survive in the composting process to infect your garden again when used as compost. If you notice your plants have too many leaves or stems infected with rust fungus, discard the entire plant. If you remove these plants early enough, it may stop the infection from spreading to other plants. Use neem oil. After removing any infected plants or stems, spray the plant weekly with neem to prevent the infection from spreading to the rest of the plant. How to prevent rust fungus. Do not introduce it to your garden. If you spot any symptoms of this disease, don't purchase the plant and let the seller know. Plant rust-resistant varieties among your crops. Plant rust-resistant flowers to ensure rust does not affect your garden. Also, you can plant hybridizers that are working hard to develop new varieties of rust-resistant plants. Water your plants only at the roots. Stop watering from overhead so that the water does not splash onto the foliage. Rust is also spread through water droplets if you water from overhead with a can or water hose. You can spread the spores from infected leaves to healthy ones through the water splash. Using drip irrigation helps deliver water to the roots, only leaving the foliage dry and healthy. Use mulch to cover your soil. Mulch is good for keeping the soil moist, so you need to water it less often. Mulching also prevents the weeds from growing keeping your plants healthy. Space your plants properly. Overcrowding plants invites disease and insect infestation, and rust fungus is not an exception. Rust fungus is passed very easily from plant to plant through wind or water. Use a preventive fungicide to get rid of rust fungus. Use a homemade organic or store-bought fungicide to cut off the spread of this fungal disease. You can make your own fungicide by dissolving 2 uncoated aspirin in a quart of water or 8 aspirin in a gallon of water. Once dissolved, spray on your plants in the early spring, including the undersides of the leaves. You can also use baking soda to make a fungicide. Mix 4 teaspoons of baking soda with 1 ounce of horticultural oil in a gallon of water. Use this mixture in the spring, and be sure to spray the undersides of the leaves plus the entire plant. Clean up your garden during the fall season. During the fall season, remove all dead plant material from the garden so that the spores have no place to overwinter and reinfect your garden in the spring. It is important to treat rust fungus as early as possible to save your crops when you can. Use organic fungicides because it does not leave your garden with any chemical residues. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.